it's perfect at about the 10 yard mark, which you have to pass. You can see the guy's getting it right there at the 10 yard mark. And since he's up in the air, like I was saying, he's going to get blasted before he comes down. But you can see he hits him before the ball, he comes down with the ball, and now we got a loose ball. It's going to get past everybody. That bounce right there is going to make it so that this cornerback really has the only opportunity to get the ball. There's nobody around this guy to pick up this ball. He's all by himself, making this probably the easiest onside kick recovery opportunity you're going to get. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another special teams video for you guys today. I don't do a ton of videos like this, but the most viewed video that I've ever put out on this channel was a video. It was mostly a tips video, but I did have the cover or the thumbnail of that video showing you guys onside kick glitch, and it really took off. So I'm guessing a lot of people really like to know these and know how to defend these, as there are a lot of so-called onside kick glitches out there uh, in the Madden world right now. Now, although they also seem to be getting patched quite a bit now I did put out one onside kick glitch not too long ago I'm gonna show you guys how to do that one again because I still feel like it's one of the better options but there is a second onside kick glitch that has been floating around and even a third that already got patched so I'm gonna show you guys all that stuff but as always before I get into the video if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section and if you guys want more help or more money plays you can download any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the the top pin comment now i'm going to start this video off by saying that these are not really uh guaranteed every onside kick is more like 50 50 um well at least the methods i'm going to show you guys if you guys don't use these you probably have like a 75 to 90 percent chance of not getting the onside kick where these onside or quote unquote onside kick glitches are really just raising the rates to like 50 50 you know what i mean it's like it's really up to you if you want to take the chance and try to run onside kick the entire game because there are people that do that but i ultimately feel like it still makes sense to kick the ball deep play defense and pull these onside kick uh, methods out like i said i'm going to probably term this as an onside kick glitch but it's really just an onside kick method that works at a higher rate than normal so it's up to you guys like i said i'm not suggesting to go out there and just do onside kick every single time uh, because you'll probably recover maybe half of them and then you'll give your opponent a short field most of the time but maybe that's worthwhile because possession is obviously very important now the first one i'm going to show you guys is from the strong onside which is something like i said i put this method out in the past in a full length tips video i'll try to leave a link in the description if you guys want to check that out and on screen at the end of the video on the other side i'm going to be fair i'm going to pick the hands team every single time so let's go and let's pick that now this first method i already put out um, you know, like I said, if you watched that original video, maybe you remember that video, maybe you don't, but either way, I'm going to show that again for the people that haven't seen it or don't remember it. It's very easy to do, but it is a little bit timing based. I have to actually time the kick meter more than I do in the second method, which I'm going to show you guys, but I still feel like if you do this accurately, or if you, if you time the kick meter accurately or do this, um, you know, it's still to me, in my opinion, the better method. So all I really have to do is hit the wire triangle button to bring up a high kick. And this is going to change the kick trajectory to the point where, um, you know, the, the guy in coverage, which is typically going to be the first guy in the second line is going to have to jump up to get the ball. Now in Madden, anytime a, uh, a person with the ball jumps, it raises the rates of a possible fumble if they get hit, whether it's a hurdle, whether it's a, you know, any time where they have to go up and get the ball, the chances of that ball getting knocked out is increased. But all you really have to do is raise this up to about the 80% mark and then try to hit that coming back down again. And you can see it goes right to that area where the guy that recovers the ball is in a position where he's just going to get blasted and you can see right there i didn't get the recovery let's go and let's watch the replay this is what i mean by like all these recovery attempts are really 50 50. as you can see right here once that ball's up in the air number one it's a perfect if you hit the 80 percent it's perfect at about the 10 yard mark which you have to pass you can see the guy's getting it right there at the 10 yard mark and since he's up in the air like i was saying he's going to get blasted before he comes down this is part two you really have to somebody has to hit him before the camera rotates around like it does to basically give him possession if it rotates around like that it's too late but you can see he hits him before the ball he comes down with the ball and now we got a loose ball and i didn't get it but you can see we have you know this is just luck of the draw here we got three eagles around and only one guy who's conscious because the guy that tried to get the ball got blasted but you can see there's really only one guy against three eagles right here and it's just the luck of the bounce i mean 
that's just the way that it goes. We don't get the recovery. But you can see how you get that 50-50 chance that you won't get in just about any other onside kick recovery situation. So even though this is a little bit more timing based because you really have to get the kick meter accurately to get it to that 80% mark to have a better chance of recovering, I still feel like this might be the better way to go and it still might be the way that I do it. The next way is a much easier setup, but I don't know if it's as efficient. So what I'm gonna do to make sure that we, you know, to find out which one's better, I'm gonna do this five to 10 times, I'll give you guys the results, and then I'll do the next one, I'll show you the next one, I'll do that five to 10 times, and we'll see which one had a higher recovery rate. So I'm gonna say that I got about three or four out of 10 onside kick recoveries, which is actually very high. Um, considering that without a good method, you're probably looking at like one or zero out of 10. Uh, a couple, the reason I say three or four is because there was a couple where I really couldn't tell who came down with the ball because the animation was so jumbled and the pile was so jumbled and the camera turned, it really, nothing really gave it away. Now this next method that I'm gonna show you guys is very similar, but it's gonna be from a different formation or a different play call entirely, and that's gonna be the speed on side. The reason I'm going for the speed on side is because this will have faster players on the field, but you can see there's actually less guys on the recovery side, or at least they're spaced differently to a point where you're gonna have all your onside kick defenders all in one area and I'm gonna shoot for that area so let's go and let's pick that we're gonna to continue to go hands team on the other side now this is gonna be pretty much the same idea but since we have all of our defenders or all of our recovery guys all the way at the far end I'm gonna to try to get it past the kick recovery team entirely and let those guys get it clean so we're just gonna we're not gonna to touch the stick once again just like we did in the first play and I'm going to hit low kick this time instead of high kick after that, we're going to do the exact same 80% uh, trick where we time it going up and down. And you'll see how it'll typically get past everybody, allowing this cornerback at the end pretty much the only clean coverage opportunity, even though he just totally botched it. But you're going to see how that's going to be very consistent. He won't typically get a clean recovery, as you can see right here. It's going to get past everybody. That bounce right there is going to make it so that this cornerback really has the only opportunity to get the ball. And at this point, if he catches it clean, great. But if he doesn't, he'll typically keep it in play to the point where he has a second chance or one of these other guys around will have a better chance at getting the ball through recovery, which, like I said, something you can't really ask for. This is, a, this is as clean as it gets. There's nobody around this guy to pick up this ball. He's all by himself, making this probably the easiest onside kick recovery opportunity you're gonna get. I'll do this 10 times to see which one gets the most onside recoveries once again. But since Bradbury's in the most important spot, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna change who my cornerback number two is to reflect the guy with the most catch, uh, the highest catch rate. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna make uh, uh, Darius Slay here who has an 82 catch, uh, our second cornerback. He's also a little bit faster too. So he's gonna have a 92 speed compared to an 89 speed. He should have a better opportunity to get him down there and getting the ball. So this one here is brand new. It's something I just came up with for this video, and I feel like it has the most potential. As I got the most recoveries out of it, I got five out of 10, and it really came down to whether or not Darius Slay um, actually caught the ball in stride, which a lot of times he did, and a lot of times he didn't. When he caught the ball in stride, it looked like absolute cheese. He was catching the ball right at the 10-yard mark, which sometimes leads me to believe, like, would it have gone as an onside recovery or would it have been a penalty that went over 10 yards? Because he was right there. I mean, he was dead center right at the 10-yard marker. It really would have been interesting to see how it would have been called in a game. But there's definitely some times where it would have been a recovery and sometimes where it might not have been a recovery. But at the end of the day, this definitely looked the most controllable. It definitely looked the easiest and it definitely looked like it had the most potential as we got the most onside recoveries for sure with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, more uh, glitch videos like this, more, you know, just any type of advantage you wanna get in Madden, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, leave it in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man, my shit out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.